What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a really long time, but I think I'm finally ready to start getting back into the swing of things on this channel. Today I want to talk about my 2006 Mustang GT. So I've had the car, I want to say, almost three years now. I got it in March 2020, right, uh, right before everything shut down. I've put a lot of time and money into building it the way I want it, and I couldn't be happier. So for all you gearheads and car enthusiasts out there that follow this channel, I'm going to tell you guys what I did. So the first mod I did to this, I put long tube headers on it, and that really woke the car up. I mean, this thing was so much louder after I put those on. Then, like, a week later, I bought camshafts for it. I put in some new Ford Performance camshafts, and that, that made the car sound like a true hot rod. But my favorite mod, I put a Whipple 2.3 supercharger on my car, and uh, this thing definitely moves. So we're gonna come over here, I just popped the hood. So here it is, this is my Whipple supercharger, it's a Whipple 2.3 liter, and this is what sits on top of my engine for right now. So for those who don't know and are like, Matt, what the heck does a supercharger do? Well with these certain style superchargers, they're belt driven by the engine. So as you floor it, let's say you just punch it, right? Your engine RPMs go up, 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 up. Car's louder, you're going faster. This is also forcing more air into the engine. Here's your cold air intake, air comes into here. As you, as you floor it, your throttle body opens up, allowing more air to come in here. And because the engine RPM is going higher, this belt spins a lot faster. It's forcing more air down into the engine. That's just my brief little explanation of how this thing works. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the car and give you guys a little cold. I haven't started it in, I think two weeks now. Like I was saying, it's pretty damn loud. The whole reason I wanted to make this video today is I want to talk about the new engine that I'm building that's going to be going into the car. Over the last year, I think I would say. Yeah, right about a year. Now, over the last year, I've been accumulating parts to build an engine for this Mustang. Now, I've been asked, like, Matt, why are you building a new engine for this car? It runs perfectly. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, I want more torque. You know, when you're sitting in the seat and you floor it and it throws you back in your seat. Like, I love that. That's why I love roller coasters. I mean, I love quick cars that jump off the line. So I'm going to do that. And this engine right now has a stock rotating assembly and it can't handle it. Um, if I were to do what I want to do on this engine right now, it would blow up. The rods would bend. It would probably shoot through the block, the engine block, and that wouldn't be good. Then I'd be screwed. So here is my new engine block. Let me turn it around. All right, so as you can see, it's just an engine block. I spent the last two weeks taking the entire engine that was there and tearing it all down just to the block. And now that it's down to just the engine block, it's all ready to go to the machine shop and start the building process. I'm really excited and I hope you guys are gonna love this because I plan to do a complete series on building this car. I can't wait. My goal for this car is to have one of the coolest, most badass 2005-2009 Mustangs you can have. Uh, that's what this car is for those who don't know. It's from the 05 to 09 category. Just the, just the body style and year the car was made. So I'm going to make it happen. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'm going to announce what I'm doing to the new engine in a couple videos. I don't know if it's going to be the next one or not, but I'm leaving that as a surprise. So I want you guys to try and guess what I'm doing with it. I want to thank you guys so much for your continued support. I love all you guys. 
and be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit like, and share this video.